Hi everybody, and welcome back uh, to Let's Play Persona 5. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> welcome back to Persona 5. And um, so in the last part, we were uh, summoned back to the Velvet Room, uh, and we finally found out who was behind this whole mess. Um, we were given the revelation about um, that Igor wasn't actually... Igor, and that he was actually the uh, big bad guy of the whole game, was kind of uh, shaping our destiny from the very start of the game. Uh, and basically, we were we also um, uh, found out about um, uh, the attendance situation. What with uh, Caroline and Justine? There you go. And how there actually one being Lavenza, who was. Um, Split in split in half by the um, overall bad guy, and now we need to get uh, the gang back together in order to um, finally take down this false god once and for all. And we're starting off this part by talking to you, talking to Yusuke. I see. And he's not a, uh, you know. So yeah, he's kind of obsessed with um his thing is kind of more about um thinking about what other people are thinking about him. Uh you know, kind of what what do other people think about um okay. <clears throat> sorry, what do other people think about the Phantom Thieves and think about him rather than thinking about his own um justice and doing it for his own reasons. And so that's what we're kind of reminding him of. You know, that this is all about um, us doing this for our own sense of justice, for our own sense of right and wrong. Yes. Um, and it has absolutely nothing to do with these, uh, uh, you know, with anybody else. It's to do with... <coughs> Sorry. Fuck. <laughs> it's to do with, you know, us doing the right thing and defeating the Holy Grail once and for all, this false god. So, Yusuke's back on the team. Yay. <laughs> He's going to be useful. He actually is going to be useful for the next section of the game, actually. Um, but anyway, I think... Uh, how many more have we got? I think we've got two more. Yeah, I think we've got two more people to kind of rescue. Uh, yeah, we've got Haru and Arn to rescue, and then we'll be have the whole team back together. Hi, Hi Haru. How are you? Of course we're safe, you know. Main character can't kill us off so easily. <laughs> it's kind of interesting actually that Haru's the uh, one, the only one I think of the rest of the people who's kind of like um you know uh are the rest of the citizenry all right? You know, the other people in the cities, the other people in the city are they fine or or is something really bad happened to them um she's the only one who kind of points that out it's like oh, okay interesting kind of suits her character i think as well and here she's kind of putting herself down and it's like it's like i'm not yes. i'm not all that useful and you know she's kind of saying no nah, you, you don't need me I'll just get in the way. So I just go on without me and it's like, nah man. <laughs> in fact, that's kind of ironic because she is one of the most powerful um, uh, characters in the whole fucking game. In our whole party, she's one of the most powerful. Especially when you uh, max out her social link and stuff. She's ridiculously strong. But yeah, we've kind of talked around and said we're not going to abandon you. We're going to, we want you to be part of this. We're going to need your help. Um... <clears throat> and so, she's in. We've saved her once again. Time for us to get going. So yeah, Harry's back in the game, so we've got one more person for us to get to, for us to find. Um, and that's Arn. So let's get going. 
Just this one last little area to go. And there she is, all on her lonesome. Sitting in a corner. I don't know whether it's um, set up so that whoever you're um, in a relationship with, if you decide to go after anybody, if you decide to be romantically r romantic with anybody, whether they're the last in this position, so, you know, they're the last character you meet. Or I don't know. I don't think that's the case. I think it's kind of set in stone. And that. so, you know... Uh, Arn will always be in this position, Harry will always be in the position that she is, and that kind of thing. So yeah, she's kind of putting herself down again. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, which kind of goes into her character, I suppose. It does go back into her character about how she considers herself, like, too weak to protect Shiho and that kind of thing. <clears throat> and here she's kind of uh, putting herself down again, thinking that she's, you know, too damn weak, which again, <laughs> the irony, <laughs> she's one of the most powerful characters in the game. Um, but anyway, but yeah, we just, it's a bit of manipulation here by us, really, We're kind of saying, yeah, what about Shiho? And she kind of says, Yes, of course I'm not going to abandon her. I'm going to keep going. And Anne's back on the team, ready to go again. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> stop glitching. Please stop glitching. Anyway, um, it's time for us to get going once again. We're going to put an end yep. to this, aren't we? Let's go. The whole team's back together now. Well, almost. We haven't found Morgana yet. I wonder if we'll find out where Morgana is. Right then. So once you talk to the last person, um, I think you're automatically transported. I haven't seen Morgana yet. Yeah, and you automatically... So we automatically end up back in front of Igor and Lavenza. And I'm trying to remember. I think in Persona 4... For I am the master of the velvet room. The characters, the party members never meet a Igor, well. but they do meet Margaret, I believe. Uh, who's the attendant. My master has just been released from a long period um, whereas, I, so I think Persona 5, in terms of since Persona 3, because 1 and 2 are their own kind of separate thing really um but since three this is like the first time i think that the main that the other cast members meet igor and the attendant hey morgana's here she's all right <laughs> he's all right he's not dead it was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world so yeah um this is where morgana kind of has a different um where he diverges from teddy from persona 4 because in persona 4 golden um teddy is kind of has the same arc as morgana trying to work out where he came from um but he was just kind of a, 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 a he just kind of formed uh, in the television world um, whereas in this game, Morgana is created specifically by Igor to uh, defeat the Lord, the, the Lord of Darkness, to you know, to defeat the um, this evil god once and for all, uh, and by and to that end, she was supposed to talk to the you know, supposed to guide us, really. The trickster, as it were. By the way, I also really like Lavenza. It's just... <laughs> Lavenza even has no, um... Uh, patience, patience for Ryuji's bullshit. <laughs> She's like, yo, just shut the fuck up and just let me explain all this shit. So we can get on with this and defeat this bastard once and for all. To decide the fate of the world. It chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi incited the masses' destruction. Yep. Had he won, so the reason why Goro Akechi had, a, had his persona powers as well is because 
against this. The god decided that he wanted to pit us, m our main character here, up against the Ketchi to see who would win and to see what would happen to. Um, <clears throat> see what would happen to the human world because of that. Um, he didn't like the fact that um, <laughs> Ketchi lost, so he decided to be a sore loser and just. My true Fuse mementos with the real world anyway because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he yes, so potential. That's all this was. This was pretty much a game between the evil god and um, him into the Igor. Where Igor's basically saying that humanity is awesome and he's saying that they're shit. <laughs> basically. To put it very, 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 um, in very, very, um, simple terms. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was... Yeah, so this whole thing of us being trapped in the Velvet Room, um, <clears throat> or the Velvet Room being a prison, and, uh, it, you know... And all that kind of thing. That was all kind of related to the evil god keeping us under control. Okay. So yeah. So in order to... So in order for us to save the world... To split Mer to get rid of mementos for good, and to have the world kind of um, free from the evil god's um, machinations, we have to go and find him and kick his kick him in the face. <laughs> Pretty simply, that's what we got to do. We just got to beat him and finish him off once and for all. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly. I don't think it was. I, it might have been explained during here, but basically, the whole point of um, mementos. Uh, sorry, of the velvet room being at the heart of mementos, is basically the evil god basically taking over from Igor's position, getting rid of him, and kind of basically. Shoving the Velvet Room deep into Memento so he can gain full and complete control kind of over us is kind of the whole point, really. That's why Mementos is um, in the heart of the uh, heart of Mementos, in the heart of the prison. So, yep. Yeah. One thing left to do now. He's got his son at the Hedgehog, uh, Spinny Feet. <laughs> One thing left to do, and that's leave this place and to take on the Dark God and finish him off. So let's head up there, shall we? And yeah, so we just get dumped into the middle of um, Shibuya. Um, I think you know what might be explained here. Hang on, <laughs> I might have uh, I might have blown my load early. Uh, <laughs> There you go, the door we just came through, and it's... Yep, that's the quarantine cell at the heart of Mementos. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. It is explained. <laughs> it gets swallowed up by the distortions and kind of stuck in Mementos for the Dark God to kind of keep it under control. No, it's more like him, since he was kept in here. Yep, we were treated like a criminal. Oh my god, Morgana's gone all uh, spiritual. But after it was taken over, it was sealed inside that bastard's nest. Inside Mementos. There you go. Inside, sealed inside Mementos. There you go. Finally. <laughs> Got there in the end. Like I said, I uh, blew my load a little bit early there. That's why you gl <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Doesn't really explain too much. Wait a sec. What, what's with those weirdly dressed guys? 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much the whole reason why Morgana is glowing at this point. It's to kind of um, draw the people's attention so that um, they start to remember the Phantom Thieves so that we can kind of uh, continue to exist in this world and gain a bit of traction, basically, in order for us to beat this evil god. So yeah, they can see us now. Only a handful of people in this large crowd. Maybe it's because of yeah. this light. And that kind of plays into the whole um, social link thing, where it's kind of played up that the people you maxed out your social link with, they remember you. So as a result, that's why you can kind of come back uh, into the into the um, distorted world with, that is, you know, uh, the real world of mementos kind of joined together. So yeah, we've got to head up the giant set of stairs up to the Colosseum to take this guy on. So let's get going, shall we? So I've changed my party up for this one because it's a bit of a pain, this section. Uh, so basically we have... Um, before we can take on um, the final boss, we have four mini-bosses that we have to take on. <laughs> Um, they're all fucking hard, <laughs> and um, they're all they're pretty much four of the hardest bosses in the whole game, as you would expect, being near the end. Um, and basically, what you want you to, what you need to do here is basically just kick it and go through this area and defeat the four mini bosses. But uh, of course, the problem is that I don't really have a massive amount of SP restoring items left to me so for the four bosses <clears throat> for the four mini bosses I'm going to be using a completely different team from so basically I'm using the reserves <laughs> which are Ryuji, Yusuke and Morgana uh, and then when it comes to taking on the true final boss I'll be using my first choice team of um, Arn, Haru and Makoto and here we are, baby. I do like the designs. They're basically all have a very uh, all have similar designs. Basically, kind of um, you know, angelic in form, which I kind of like. Um, um, I think in terms of the villains, the main bosses themselves, they have no weaknesses. Um, but they also don't have a lot of resistances either. They usually just have one resistance. Um, so it's pretty much a case of lower their defense, hit them with everything you fucking got. Hit them with your most powerful attacks and just keep nail wailing on them and eventually they'll go down. Okay, the first one is a little bit of a pain. So basically, they're going to... Um, he's going to summon... Because uh, you see we're taking off a fair bit of health from him already, but um, basically they will give you a f they'll um, yeah I kind of fuck up early on I think, but anyway um, so they will he will summon them and you want to get rid of them ASAP because basically the only move that they use I believe is really um, yeah, so they'll raise his accuracy in defense um, and stuff like that. And he gets two attacks in, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> but what they also do, which is a real fucking pain in the ass, is that if they stay around for, I think it's two or three turns, then um, they will completely recover his health, which is frustrating. Um, so you want to kill them ASAP. They are weak to uh, dark attacks, I want to say. At this point, I'm just kind of trying to finish them off because I didn't know what their um, weakness was at this point. I'd completely fucking forgotten. Um, but yeah, they're weak to death attacks. Yep, they'll use Recambra, which completely knackers their health but completely heals him up. So yeah, you want to... 
um, you want to use death attacks to kind of kill them as soon as is humanly possible. Um, you want to try and get rid of them ASAP. Uh, something else which is kind of irritating about him is he has that attack which he just used, which can cause a metric fuck turn of. Please use darkness at some. Uh, no, I'm using light. Why am I using light? Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. Go on, go on, Morgana, whack him in the face. So yeah, he's got that attack. Which can cut, which can inflict uh, status ailments. So in this case, fear. It's a bit of a pain if you get hit by it, and you get because you're highly likely to get hit with. Um... Yeah, my Garadon. What, what am I doing? What am I? Come on, <laughs> concentrate, man. Anyway, and uh, Rick Ambra, so his health is back. This is why you want to kill them instantly. Um, so yeah, he has a ridiculous amount of powerful attacks that cause a fuck ton of damage. <sighs> and they can cause status effects, so he's really annoying to fight. Fuck you, Yusuke. You're useless. Um, <laughs> so yeah, now we got rid of both of them. The good thing about getting rid of both of them as well is... Oh, that, that wasn't good. Anyway, the good thing about getting rid of them as well is that um, he then is going to waste a turn, I think. He then wastes a turn every so often to re-summon them. Thank you, Morgan. So it's basically just a case of whacking with your most powerful attacks. Lower his defense. Uh, when he summons some someone just get rid of them as soon as possible that's really all there is to it this is my other self. yeah hit him with I both like come on there you go <laughs> too long enough oh wow I'm having a lot of uh, issues here anyway please use the dark attack now please use my dune Use it. Use it. And there you go. Weak to that, so now it's gone down. I think. Yeah, so I'm going to baton pass to a Morgana. God, there was, I can't believe how many um, recording issues there was. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad it was. But anyway. Because I only just skipped through when I was editing. Not that there's anything I could have done about this anyway, but whatever the fuck. So yeah, just keep hitting him with your most powerful attacks and eventually he'll go down. Um, and here at this point I'm kind of trying to conserve SP because I don't want to re be reusing my SP restorative items too soon. There we go, it's down again. Yeah, I think at this point I was like, right, I want to, let's, yeah, let's, what am I doing? There we go. Let's decrease his defense now. I probably could have done the same thing by just using um, Morgana and just doing a, a powerful attack, but whatever. Yeah, but it's kind of useful to keep them around. A little bit, just so he wastes a turn, and boom, he's down. And so all that's left is to beat the shit out of this thing, and we're done. Tom. There you go, buddy. There you go. And it's finally fucking dead. I apologize for the graphical glitches that we're having. The recording fuck-ups, but whatever. First boss fight down. Three more to go. And I'm at level 72, isn't that nice? I'm two levels above what I need to in order to win this, to beat this asshole. And we get Iger, which is nice. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part of Persona 5. Join me next time 
for the second longest part of the of the series um when we're going to be uh, continuing through this area and we're going to be f- uh, kicking the ass of the final um three boss fights uh, fi- the final three mini boss fights before the true final boss so yeah see you next time <laughs>